Tensions are growing between conservative Hindus and women's rights activists in India after two women entered one of Hinduism's holiest shrines for the first time. Under police guard, the pair secretly entered the Sabarimala temple in the southern state of Kerala. For centuries, local tradition has barred women of menstruating age from entering the shrine. But last year, India's Supreme Court overturned that ban, a ruling that enraged traditionalists. On Tuesday, thousands of women in Kerala formed a human chain to demand access to the building. Let's go right to DW's Nimisha Jaiswal, who's standing by for us in Delhi. Nimisha, good to see you. Now, Hindu devotees had been blocking women from accessing this temple. So how did the two women manage to get in today? Well, for me, for the last two months since the Supreme Court ruling, women have been trying to enter the temple in broad daylight, in full media glare, and there were many traditionalists and devotees of the temple blocking them from even starting to make the trek up to the temple. The only way these two women managed to sneak through, literally, is because they started the trek in the dead of the night at about 12.30 a.m. and they only made it to the temple at 3.45 a.m. They were dressed all in black. They hurried in, offered their prayers and hurried out. So these two women definitely did make history, but they had to do it stealthily. Nimisha, this is an issue that really has divided Indians, and I want to ask you about what some people have been saying, starting with the government. Now, in an interview, of the Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, appears to have sided with traditionalists who want to keep women out of the temple. Let's take a look at Twitter, uh, what the Prime Minister's office tweeted. Uh, Every temple has their own beliefs. There are temples uh, where men are not allowed. Uh, so, Nimisha, as we said, this, the Prime Minister seeming uh, to appearing here to side with the trad- traditionalists, Tell us more about some of the reactions you're seeing today. Well, the immediate reaction from the temple, Sumi, was to shut it down. From the temple authorities have shut it down for purification. There's also a leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party, which is Prime Minister Narendra Modi's party, who has called for protests in the state to protest these two women entering the temple. It's also worth noting that in the same interview, this is a very rare interview that Prime Minister Narendra Modi gave to begin this year, where he says that temples should be allowed to preserve their traditions, he also supports supported a ban on an instant uh, instant divorce law that India has finally struck down under Islam. He said that was about gender equality, but this is about tradition. Nimisha, for some people who are not familiar with this, why is it such a controversial issue to allow women of menstruating age into this temple? Well, so to understand that, we need to know about the Shabrimala temple. It is devoted to Lord Ayappa. The devotees of Lord Ayappa believe him to be celibate. This is why, to be respectful of him, women between the ages of 10 and 50 are not allowed to enter the temple. Male devotees of Lord Ayappa say that women who truly believe in this god should themselves not want to enter the temple to respect this celibacy of the, of the god. But women, of course, have come together. We saw massive protests on Tuesday and continued efforts. But so far, these efforts have, of course, been stealthy to be successful. And devotees are challenging the Supreme Court ruling. Supreme Court will begin hearings on this challenge later this month. DW's Nimisha Jaiswal following this story for us from Delhi. Nimisha, thank you very much.